man, do I feel great. Whew. Camera glitched for a second there because I'm on low battery. But hey, y'all, how's it going? It is your friendly neighborhood. P B J back at it again and man am i feeling good <laughs> you already know me i've been staying jacked as usual check out the shape of the muscles it's looking good <sighs> i've been biking intensely y'all i'm getting back on my grind you already know but listen y'all i want to talk about something i mainly be making videos when i feel real inspired but listen all right Sometimes in life, you gotta make a big choice. That's gonna be the theme of today's video choices. And you gotta think, what's the pros and cons of the choice you're about to make? Is it the right choice? Is it the wrong choice? Is there really such a thing as right and wrong? Or is that something we decide? There are so many things that are unanswered in the world. And it's just, when you have to make a choice, you gotta think of the pros and cons, right? So I've been faced with a big choice recently. I'm not gonna say the choice just yet until I'm more like accustomed to my decision. I would talk about the choice, but it's very personal to me about this choice. So without saying the choice, I'd like to just talk about choices instead. And I'd like to tell you about my day. I love to do that. So, where do I start? Well, we got, we got my day, which my day is going quite well. I'm liking it, I'm liking it. Now, hold on. Gotta kinda maneuver. Give me one moment, y'all. Woo! Baby, oh, yo, I almost fell. And I was using my left hand, which is obviously not my dominant hand, for those of you that know. And I was somehow able to keep the bike still on a super sharp turn right there. There's so many bugs. They're flying all over me. Nasty bugs. I hate when like the little gnats get in your eye. It's so nasty. But listen, dude, y'all. Hold up. Man, there's like no opportunities to talk. I might have to just park the bike. I think I'll do that. But listen, <laughs> I know I said listen like probably 30 times. <sighs> the vibes of inspiration are flowing. I just keep talking. Point is, choices, right? Now, in my life recently, I've come to a um, point where I have to make this choice, right? And the choice I have to make is very significant. So I biked around thinking about the choice and it felt like a TV show. Now, let me tell you what I mean by that. So I haven't rode my bike in a while, but I've still been, you know, playing basketball a lot. I don't know if I mentioned this already. And for like my cardio and sorry, there's so many bugs that I chose like the worst time for this. So I was biking around and it was like a TV show because so many people, hey Phoenix, Phoenix, and like cars were like honking their horns. So many people recognized me and like, like when I went to the park, when I was biking down the main road, when I was doing all this stuff, so many people recognized me. And it was just, it was like a TV show. Like when the main characters kind of just like going through town and everybody's like, hey, you know, hey. And it was really cool because up until now in my life, I've never really, bugs, experienced that. It's like a TV show, honestly, because not that long ago, I was telling y'all how lonely I am. And now I'm the most not lonely I've ever been. I erased all the toxicity out of there. You know what I mean? I uh, made amends with my past. And honestly, that's what I did this summer. I made amends with my past and I'm at peace now, finally, like, it's such a great feeling to just be in peace and get rid of all that toxicity, you know? I'm going on a tangent as usual. <laughs> but I think y'all, I think y'all like when I go on a tangent because I'm giving you like a slice of life, you know what I mean? <sighs> Point is though. 
Hold up. Gotta kind of be attentive. Attentive? Attentive? Not sure. Correct me in the comments if you're a English teacher. So, anyway, I have to make this big choice. And I was biking around thinking about it. And everything, the one time I bike around thinking about this choice, um, basically all these people are saying hi to me and all this stuff. And it made me real nostalgic. And it's like, I realize now that making this choice it's gonna be a little bit harder than I thought however it's also an easy choice now <clears throat> I could just tell you what the choice is but like I said it's personal so I'm gonna keep it to myself for now until I've made the choice like if I decided to go through with the choice then I'll share if I didn't I'll, you'll just never know <laughs> but um whoo Hold on, I'm gonna have to start another clip. So anyway, what have I gotten to so far? There's a decision I have to make, and then um, I'm reminiscing downtown, thinking about the decision I have to make, and basically that's what I'm doing. And so, do I think I'm gonna go through with the decision, the choice? I'm not sure. Honestly, I'm leaning towards yes for my own personal reasons. Because in life sometimes, no insistence on the outcome is what you gotta go through. Sometimes you just gotta make that choice that you wanna make because, and just do it with no insistence on the outcome if that's your highest joy. How do you know if it's your highest joy? That is a bit more confusing. Then the question is, do you try it? Do you dabble in it? Or, do you let it fly by? So, ooh. honestly, making these videos, it's kind of like a, what you call it? It's kind of like a way for me to vent almost, because I really have nobody to like talk to about these kind of things. <laughs> like I do, but I don't at the same time. Like sure I do, but I, I almost prefer this way just kind of talking to myself about it because usually nobody can give me an answer I couldn't come up with myself that's how it's always been however it's a great day nonetheless it's always a great day because I'm alive man it really is a great day I'm loving it Ah, I love biking around this town. It's so nice. Just peaceful. Besides when people like want to, what you call it, hate and stuff. What's up? See, someone just recognized me. Anyway. <laughs> oh, I love it. I'll start another clip. I'm going to enjoy this bike ride for a bit. What's up? I'm back. So, I just feel like amazing right now. I don't know how to explain this feeling other than the endorphins and the good vibes and the everything. Like, it's all just amazing. Like, it really is. Like, I feel great. Hold on, one moment. So, uh, I have to make a decision. And the decision I'm faced with the more I think about it, honestly, I just came to like a conclusion, like, I like a certain conclusion, because if I really think about it, I've just been rambling for like eight minutes or however long the video's going, but you know how some things just, you feel it in your chest, your soul, your heart, whatever you want to call it, you feel it somewhere residing in you that that is the right thing to do in that given moment. Now you might change your mind later, but in that moment you're like, this is the right thing to do, I'm doing it. That's how I'm starting to feel, right? And you know, I just love, I love talking to YouTube, like I love making these videos, it makes me feel so good, like, it's just what I truly 
want to do like make these videos like it's very therapeutic i'll tell you that much like very very therapeutic like just talking to this camera people relating with me like shout out jasper shout out jr shout out blair shout out that one dude grain shout out uh oh who are my regular commenters my bad y'all it's been a minute but shout out uh oh that one dude i haven't seen him comment in a while but there's this one dude that used to comment a lot steven yeah steven shout out steven shout out all oh, y'all like on that video where i talked about how lonely i was like y'all were all there that was like a family community section like everybody was there for each other we all talked about how lonely we were we all talked about how we relate to one another it was just amazing it was a blessing and it was awesome you know but man it feels good to be making videos it does it's what i love to do truly deep down in my heart this is my no insistence on the outcome just making these videos talking right off the dome and i seem to be pretty good at it a lot of people tell me i have a gift for like how i say things you know and you know i believe it too now i truly believe that i've changed many lives around me and my light is so strong i can show others just how strong theirs is and it's so amazing like i can show everybody how much power they truly have you know it's just amazing like the things you can do and with your one life that you get your one physical experience you can show everybody what's possible there are so many things that are possible and like it's crazy because knowing that and people still they don't follow their dreams they're they're afraid of what everyone else thinks i don't care you want to hate on me hate on me you want to dislike me dislike me but know that that says more about you than it ever will about me and that's how i want all of y'all to think too it takes a minute to be able to get that strong i know i know if you're getting bullied and you're watching this video it might be you might be oh easy for you to say i got bullied my entire life i get it i do but you know what it doesn't matter because that doesn't define you nothing defines you remember that you are your own person life ain't about finding yourself it's about creating yourself remember that it's the most important thing and follow your highest excitement with no insistence on the outcome <sighs> this summer i realized something I'm about to get real deep personal. I'm not going to tell you the choice still because that's for me. <laughs> but that's what I will say. This summer, I've just made amends with the past. I have gone above and beyond. I have cut loose ends. I have, you know, realized things about myself I didn't know before. I've had a lot of personal growth. I've learned to not put my energy into things that just don't matter that just don't matter. Say it again for the people in the back. I have learned to now put my energy into things that just don't matter. Oh, it feels so good to say that, man. And I truly mean it, y'all know, y'all know me. I truly live in everything I say. So, I've made amends with the past. I have truly let it go, finally. All these aspects of my past, I was able to let go. And I was able, if I needed to fix something, I fixed it. If it was, you know, something that I just needed to cut that end, I cut it off. If it was a thing of like personal growth, I grew. I just feel like a new person. It's amazing. I've truly, I don't know if y'all have seen it from my videos, but truly changed. It's a wonderful feeling, I'll tell you what. So, this is what I'll say next. For any of you out there that are going to make a choice, whether it's today, whether it's tomorrow, whether it's a year from now, and it's an important choice, remember this. There are pros and cons to everything. There are opportunities 
that you will never get back. And for every opportunity that you miss, it may never come back. So, I will say it again, like I always say, and I will truly mean it as I always do. Follow your dreams, do what you wanna do, with no insistence on the outcome. What does that mean? It means if something brings you joy, do it because it brings you joy. If you gotta do it alone, do it alone. If you're not sure what's gonna happen, but you wanna do it anyway, do it. And don't insist on some kind of outcome like people liking you, validation, all these things. Do it because you wanna do it and live this life the way you wanna live it, man. And really, that's it. Follow your dreams and be you because nobody else can do it. And while you're here, show everybody else what they can do as well because ain't nobody else gonna do it. Everybody's too scared. So you gotta show them and you gotta show yourself too. So, <laughs> this is so awesome, dude. I live in everything I say, man. And I don't care what anybody gotta say. Flex on them haters, man. Woo. A leaf just hit me, but we're chilling. We keep it going. So, remember these words, all right? I hope it resonates with a lot of you. And if it doesn't, I did it with no insistence on the outcome. So it won't bother me either way. Much love, much peace, much congratulations to all of you this summer that have truly put in the effort and the hard work to become a better human being. And not only that, but to follow your highest excitement with no insistence on the outcome and living life to the fullest while you still have this one physical experience that you will never get back. I love it. The embers of inspiration woo, are flowing through me once again. And I almost just fell and I'm not sure why I didn't fall, but you know what? I'm grateful and I'm not gonna question it. I'm gonna chalk that up to the universe saying thank you. It's thanking me for showing all these lovely people what they can do with their lives while I still have them. So yeah, like, remind me you're still watching, remind me you still care, remind me that you're still here. And it helps the algorithm so more people can hear the message. Comment, comment whatever you want, man. Hate, love, support, anything. It helps my channel either way. And for all the haters, I'm just living rent free in their head. I've never understood the concept of going on somebody's page that I hate and saying shit. I've never understood the concept because you're putting energy into them. You're, it's like those people that give people super chats because there's a feature on YouTube when you're live streaming and you can give people money, right? It's called a super chat and your comment is like highlighted, right? There are people that will give $50 to these popular streamers on YouTube and they'll just say something negative and they think they won. Bro, you're giving somebody you hate money so you don't hate them. I've never understood the concept and I never will because that's not who I am. I don't spend my energy on hate. I spend it on love. I spend it on growth. I spend it on Spending on all the right things. Let's just say that. And I've achieved the things I wanted to achieve this summer. And there's still more I want to achieve. I'm never satisfied. I know this video might run a little long, or maybe it's longer than I think. Maybe it just feels long because I really mean everything I say. But, whew, phone lagged. But, I'll leave y'all with everything I said. So if the message resonated with you, I'm glad. If it didn't, I'm also glad. Thank you for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, stay checked. I'll see you in the next one.